Hey, what's up guys, iAlligator here, and today I'll be reviewing the HTC One S. At the time of this review, this phone is running Android 4.0 with HTC Sense UI 4.0 on top of it. Now, as you can see on the front, you have your front-facing camera, which shoots VGA videos and photos with a little bit of a recess or an indent, which does allow for dust to get in once you have it in your pocket, but it's not really that big of a problem. And you can see the earpiece to the left of that, and the HTC logo. On the right side of the phone you have your volume rockers and your volume rockers only. And on the bottom you have your back button, home button, and your app switcher button. Missing is a dedicated menu button on the phone. On the back of the phone you have your 8 megapixel camera with smart flash which allows for 1080p HD videos at 30 frames per second and also allows for continuous shooting and taking pictures while recording a video. And the back has a gray gradient and is uh, made of metal. It's a unibody phone except for the top piece and the bottom piece, um, which uh, is for the SIM card. And at the bottom you saw the Beats by Audio logo, or Beats Audio logo, sorry, which uh, is an enhancement, as a software enhancement on the phone, which um, you can turn on to um, improve the quality of whatever you're listening to on your phone, be it Pandora or any music you have on your phone. Now this phone also benefits from a feature called Fast Boot, which uh, allows for your phone to turn on as you can see here in pretty much uh, 10 seconds if you have that option on, which is really useful for example when your phone dies and you want to just plug it in and continue what you were doing, you don't have to wait a long time for it to boot. And this phone also, as I said earlier, has a the ability for continuous shooting while you're taking videos or while you just want to take pictures. With continuous shooting you hold down the capture button on your phone and it takes uh, multiple images in a row and then you can go back and pick the best one to keep. As I also said earlier you can uh, take pictures while you're recording a video at the full 8 megapixel resolution. It's not just a screenshot of the phone, I mean a screenshot of the video. Uh, which is actually a really nice feature. You can also change the resolution and video quality quality of your phone if you don't want um, your pictures and videos to take too much room on your phone. Um, now, one thing with the video on this phone is that while you're recording a video, it's not very stable. It doesn't have any sort of uh, video stabilization, so uh, any sort of um, hand movement which is natural for everyone um, will result in a shaky video and hopefully they can add a software enhancement which will allow for more stable videos. The phone comes with a 1.5 GHz dual core Qualcomm Snapdragon S4 processor which is actually one of the speediest processors out there. The phone beats the One X which is its big brother in benchmarks which is really impressive and I believe prior to the release of the Galaxy S3 and the iPhone 5 it was the fastest phone out there and the phone also has one gigabyte of RAM which is more than enough for pretty much anything that I would do with a phone I mean there are only so many things you can do at, a, at the same time on a phone and one gigabyte is more than enough for that now storage wise this phone only has 16 gigabytes of storage which is uh, enough for most people but um, usually with an Android phone you'd expect a SD card expansion slot but this phone lacks that but to compensate for that HTC does offer 25 gigabytes of Dropbox storage for free which is actually quite a bit and I'd, I think I'd rather have the Dropbox storage than an SD card slot for everyday use because uh, 16 gigabytes is more than enough for pretty much anything I do and usually when you do take pictures and videos you're gonna transfer them to a computer anyways it's not like you're gonna keep them on your phone forever so it's um, enough for that. The phone comes uh, equipped with a 4.3 inch AMO LED display with the resolution of 960 by 540 and with that extra screen resolution it does allow for really nice typing although it does require some getting used to for the first couple days that you get this phone for but after that it's definitely a blast typing on it I mean there's just so much space on the keyboard and you can type quite fast on it 
and the phone also has the option for uh, text to or sorry speech to text so you can tell it what you want to type as you can see here and it will type it for you it's good for taking notes or doing something real quick but I mean for uh, everyday use it's not really practical I mean you have to say question mark or uh, period after every um, sentence or a question here you can see the task manager that pops up once you press the dedicate button for it which I think could be better uh, it doesn't really show that many apps you can only see one app fully of what's running and it's also at an angle which uh, doesn't look that great and uh, you can also slide the apps up to end the task board or get rid of them overall though this is a great Android phone and with the Jelly Bean update coming out for it soon. It's probably one of the best Android phones you can get on the market right now for $99. Uh, same price as the One X if you get it on a contract. But um, some people, a lot of people prefer this phone to the One X. I personally think I prefer it too because of the smaller screen. Uh, I think the One X is just too big at 4.7 inches. Um, and it can be hard to use it with one hand sometimes. Here you can see the top cover which you can take off to switch the sim and you can see it's blue inside which looks really good. That's something I've always liked about HTC. Uh, they paint the insides of the phone so always looks nice. And speaking of color, this phone does also come in matte black with a red border around the camera instead of the blue one which also looks really nice. Um, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below and I will try my best to answer them. Thanks for watching this video and thanks to HTC for sending me this phone to review. Uh, follow me on Twitter and Facebook, links, links in the description, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.